Hi guys, thank you for joining me for another shave and scent of the day. Today is one of my absolute favorites, Barrister and Man, Le Grand Chipre. Beautiful, beautiful Chipre. Um, notes on this, there's a bunch I have them written down. Bergamot, lime, labdomum, oak moss, patchouli, peach, rose, frankincense, cedar, and cinnamon. Um, if you haven't tried this, do it. Razor today, Razor Rock Game Changer, 0 0.84 blade gap with a Voshkod in it. Wonderful razor, super deep, knurling, beautiful. This is the barbershop uh, handle. Matching splash. Brush today is my favorite Sterling Soap Company 26 millimeter finest badger and scent of the day is going to be Amouage Lyric Man uh, decant from the fragrance decant boutique lots of notes in this one uh, top notes are bergamot and lime you can see that <clears throat> the bergamot lime and rose um, are the the um, common scent notes here between the soap splash and the and lyric man um, top notes bergamot and lime the middle notes rose angelica orange blossom galbanum nutmeg ginger saffron and the base is pine sandalwood incense vanilla and musk um, beautiful very strong very strong on my skin um, about one little spray off of this decant um, is just fine for me very very great longevity great sillage um, and very strong on my skin so I've got the puck soaking as usual and I'll add this water to my face Man, that scent is so great. I love it. I'm not a, a real big rose fan. Um, probably one reason that I can only handle one spray of the Amouage Lyric Man. Um, I, I do like it, but it's not super high on my list. It's just a little, it's a little strong to my nose. Um, but obviously I still wear it, so I just wear it sparingly. Um, this is the soap and splash is very complex really rich really beautiful I keep saying I'm gonna get the EDT um, of this because Barrister Man obviously makes an EDT or I wouldn't have just mentioned that um, and I don't know why I haven't but I haven't um, so that's something I need to get on nice and loaded doesn't take much time to load it loads very well Probably doesn't need the hot water on there, but I like it. All right, let's get the paste on the face. Such a fantastic brush. Really nice gel tips still plenty of backbone nice size knot splays out to be very sizable if you splay it fully all right the paste is on let's get some water into it and this excelsior base will hold a ton of water So I'm going to give it to it. And every time you see my brush disappear, it's just dipping the tips of the of the brush into water and then getting that onto the face.
Hope everyone has a great Thursday out there. I'm off tomorrow, and then it's my weekend to work. So this is kind of like a Friday shave for me. You really can't put too much water into this. I mean, I've got a ton in here just to show you. And I'm throwing it everywhere. See, it's nice and shiny. Slick and beautiful. And I have it everywhere. All right, guys, let's get going. Very smooth razor, really heavy, takes zero pressure. You just set it on your face and use enough um, pressure to hold it to your skin and then just let the weight do the work and you will be rewarded with a comfortable shave A lot of people put pressure on, you know, probably being used to cartridge razors. But you don't need pressure at all. Remember, you're doing multiple passes here, so you're just taking a little bit of the hair off every time. You don't need to see clean skin after the first pass. And you can see, I mean, there's still some, some spots that have hair on them. That's fine. I'm going to pick them up. So now let's go to our next path. so much water in this lather that it's just dripping off the brush but it is slick if this lather were any wetter it might fall off of my face oh there's the there's the flavor mmm Not too bad. I'll give that a 
solid three and a half. All right, across the grain. Remember, no pressure. Just move my tongue around down here to kind of flatten this out like that. And then I bow my neck fat. Another great pass, and the spots that I was seeing still had hair on them is now gone. So once again, don't worry about the first pass being perfect. It's not supposed to be perfect. It's just supposed to get, you know, the bulk of the hair off. the other direction some alum on my fingers I can't get any stretch here I always have trouble with that jawline There we go. Looks like I'm shaving way up in my nostril, but I'm not because the blade, hopefully you can see where the blade starts there. There. So you can see the blade is fully encapsulated in the razor that sound good yeah so you know you really have to get up in there in order to get the blade in I hope that made sense it did to me but I said it Game changer really is a wonderful razor. Beautiful stainless steel. All right, against the grain. Still no pressure in this direction either.
Okay. Now I'll do just one more pass on my neck and you know if I missed anything I'll check that out. So I just kind of squeeze the brush out. I mean that's very hydrated. Excellent, excellent shave. Right. My face with an Allen block. No feedback equals great shape. Clean my brush out while the alum does its work. I always show myself using alum, but I'm not sure if I've ever shown the um, brand or type of block that I use. This one is the Osma Tradition. Um, it's the much bigger block than the small ones that come in the in the little um, waxed cardboard containers, and this one's got the actual um, plastic carrying case for it, which I love plus the fact that it's a bigger block, um, so it's kind of easier to hold. All right, Le Grand Chipre. This, uh, the aftershave is a little more complex than the soap, which is already complex. Really, for me, is a masterpiece. I love it. I never would have thought something, you know, with rose in it would catch me like this, but it is beautiful. It's really, it's the first soap that I fell in love with. Um, 
and I love a lot of soaps, but this one is really great. All right, and I'm gonna finish up with one squirt. Mm, all right, fine, two squirts. One in front and one behind. That's a pretty rose. It's not, it's not sweet, um, but it's not. It does. It's not acidic either. I mean, it's just, it's a, it's a perfect balance. Um, I'm just not the hugest fan of rose, but I still like it. So, any of you that are afraid of rose, uh, get a decant. Go to Fragrance Decant Boutique. Get a little decant of it. You can get, you know, one mil, two mil, three mil, five mil, ten mil. You know, whatever size you want to. This is a five mil right here. Um, so, you know, maybe get you a, a three or a five mil and try it out and see what you think. Um, that way, if you don't like it, you certainly haven't lost much money. Um, I buy a ton of decants. You know, sometimes you get tired of fragrances also, and then you're left with a big bottle. I, you know, if I keep buying the same decant, then I'll go ahead and buy the full bottle. Um, but I just keep trying more stuff, and I find the things that I really, really love that, are, that I deem to be bottle-worthy. Um, by buying them a few times as decans. So thank you guys for joining me today again Beautiful beautiful shave. Hope everyone has a great Thursday out there. Please like subscribe. We hit a hundred subscribers I'm getting started Thank you guys. Have a great day